someone calls it a historic decision, who accuses the authorities that she sold the country, and some users criticize the law's lack of revolutionary. In his view, the new restriction to not buy more than 100 hectares in one hand between July 2021 and January 2024 will not allow it to receive a considerable demand for land, and therefore the prices will not grow and farmers do not earn. And the exclusion from the sale of lands in state ownership would allow corrupt officials to continue to parasitize on it, he says, noting that now the government owns 10 million hectares, equivalent to the total area of Bulgaria. Last edit emasculated all the economic essence of this reform. She will not give any economic effect. Neither the macro nor at the micro level, complains Versa. Well, why do we have all in one place, at the last moment, with anguish, and yet half? But soon I'm happy for the accepted land law. Dot 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 it seems so little, and at the same time, so many. At the same time C. Durenko could not resist the jokes on the topic of the market. He joked that now the whole earth will take out cars in Germany, and what will remain after 2023 Soros will buy up. I'll buy packages of ATB and will fill them with topsoil. Who knows, after the opening of borders, the end of quarantine, how many pounds of topsoil per adult you can take. Jokes user feed all P. Traitors, who, under the cover of night, hiding behind the epidemic of flagrant violation of the rules, voted to plunder the Ukrainian land wrote the leader of Svoboda Oleg Tyagna Bok.